In this video, I'm going to be showing you the basics of motion tracking in Femora. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So as you can see here, I have a clip on the timeline. I'm going to go ahead and play this. This is essentially what it looks like. Let me go ahead and make this a little shorter here. So maybe I'm going to cut it right here. All right. So let me go ahead and make it a little bigger so you guys can have a better visual here. All right. Make the track a little bigger. All right. So now this is my clip here. So the first thing you need to determine is what are you trying to track and how long are you trying to track it for? So in this instance, I want to track this entire clip, right? So sometimes you have a bunch of clips. So if you want to track all those clips, make sure you decide that's what you want to do. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to track this specific red car within this clip. Now to get started, I'm going to go ahead and hit my motion track button here right on the toolbar that's above uh, the timeline here. So if you don't have it, go ahead and go to the left side, click on the toolbox here, and this is where you're going to find all the tools that are at your disposal. Now, if you, you have to locate motion tracking, click drag and drop it on uh, the toolbar here. And since I have it, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel, go ahead and hit motion tracking. And uh, once you hit motion tracking, you're going to see that we have a little box that pops up here. This is going to be the box that allows us to select things that we want to track. Now, before I do that, I want to go ahead and move the playhead to the beginning of the clip because I want this to track, you know, th this clip from the first frame. OK, now, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and move this box to cover whatever you're trying to track. So in this instance, I'm trying to track uh, this red car here. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this just to make sure that I have the car selected, right? I'm going to make this a little, it's a little bigger, a uh, little, th move it around and maybe right here. This is a good, this looks pretty good. Now, once I have this selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, click to start motion track. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And as you can see, it does a pretty good tracking this. So if I replay this, this is how you want us, you want it to be tracked. Now, if it's moving all over the place, that means you need to resize this and go ahead and track again. So before you do that, you just hit reset and you resize the, uh, the box and you can hit motion track again and it'll track that. Okay. Now, once it's been tracked, you're going to see a, a, a light green uh, line here that shows you that this is the area that has been motion tracked. Okay. Now the next step is going to be to add an object that can be, you know, that, that we can use to track this car here. Okay. Now, if you look under link element here, so I'm going to click that, this is where we can import as well as add a mosaic, you know, to, you can add things on this screen here. So if you have an image saved or something saved in your computer, you can hit import from a computer and you're going to be able to import something that can, you can use to track the car. So if I open up my files here and I grab one of these here, so I'm going to grab this right here, it's going to be added right on top of uh, my, my clip here. And, and as you can see here, it kind of like defaults to covering the same distance. Okay. Now what I can do is I can actually select this. I'm going to go ahead and resize it, resize it. I want to put it right above the car so that it moves right along with the car without covering the car. So I'm going to select it right here. Cool. All right. So go back to my clip. And if I click this drop down, as you can see, it's going to select uh, the name of the file that I just added, which is this subscribe button. So click on that. Now, if I play this video, you're going to see that this is going to track. This is going to be is, this is going to follow along the car because of that motion tracking uh, that we had. Now, I can remove this, right? I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Go to our motion tracking here. Now, one other thing I could do is I can actually go to my, let's say I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I can go over to my, let's say, uh, stickers and you can search for maybe an arrow, right? Something like that. Let's say I wanted to use one of these here, like this one right here. I can click drag and drop this on top of my video. Let me just go ahead and extend it to fit the entire video. Uh, double click on the video so that we can go back to motion tracking. So instead of using the subscribe pop up button, select this drop down. And I'm going to go ahead and select this new element here. So select that. Now, if I play this, you can see that it's following the car. Now, you just need to reposition it, obviously. So let's say I wanted to add it right here. Right. And uh, let's play this. Pretty good here. 
Now, the, anything that's gonna that's a that, that you add here, it's gonna, is, you're gonna have the ability to uh, locate it through the link element button here. Okay, so that is how you can motion track. Pretty simple process here. I wanted to give you the step by step on how to motion track. Now you can obviously make this more advanced. You can obviously, you know, go in so much detail. I just wanted you to understand the basics on of how you can get started with uh, motion tracking objects on your video. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.